chapter two, Mishnah five. Another thing that sets the Meiser obligation is selling the produce. The next several Mishnahs teach when produce that is sold becomes forbidden to snack on. Sorry, the next several Mishnahs teach when produce that is sold becomes forbidden to snack on. This Mishnah teaches the law for someone who buys produce that is still attached to the tree. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. If someone says to his friend, here is this Isser coin and give me five figs in exchange for it, and the figs are still attached to the tree, the buyer may not eat those figs, even as a snack, until he separates Meisros from them, because selling produce sets its Meisr obligation. These are the words of Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Huda says, if he eats them one by one, as the seller gives them to him, he is exempt from separating Meisros from them. But if the seller combined two figs and gave them to the buyer together, he is obligated to separate Meisros before he eats them. Rabbi Huda cites a proof for his position. Rabbi Huda said, There was a story involving a rose garden that was in Jerusalem, and the figs that grew in that garden were sold for three or four figs for an isser, a coin. They were picked by the owner of the garden and given to the buyer one by one. And Truman and Meister were never separate from the figs of that garden. This shows that even when figs are sold, they may be eaten one by one without being tithed.